Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. Please share and subscribe my channel to get more interesting topic. Thanks. Hi, guys, how are you? Today's discussion about the radiographic flame interpretation. How you have to interpret your flame when you when your radiograph will will be finished. So you need to check the flame interpretation, the flame, which type of BPT is coming, how it looks like. So we can check one by one. It's for not only for one code, it's a different, it's a every code have the same imperfection are there, so many imperfections are there and the, that imperfection you have to get the flame interpretation, flame in, when you interpret the flame, then it can be the same visual will be coming. So you see how you will interpret one by one, I will do. I will tell you. This is lack of root penetration. How it is looks like. You see the first, the above one, the penetration is not there. So this is called lack of root penetration and you see the radiograph image is there. That image is the borderline, what is the, there is the one uh, line is there from the middle of the weld you see here and that's it's it if it is like that if you see any radiograph is like that then you have to uh, consider as a lack of root penetration lack of root fusion you see there is a misalignment of the weld you can see here joint the misalignment is the weight. If the misalignment is there, I told already in previous holding, if the misalignment is there, then root fusion will be there. So in that case, there is no root fusion at there. So in that root fusion, if not there, then you see the why is why is changing the, you see here from the from beginning of the oil to end of the oil there is one side density is high and one side density is different in the density difference you can understand that the misalignment is there misalignment is there that's why it's all the lack of root position is coming and it seems uh, it looks like that concave root Concave, you see, concave and concave house, it is, it is for the concave root. Concave root, when the, you have done the root welding, at that time, because of the techniques of the welder and you have not the proper, your parameter, current voltage setting, that's why it's, uh, it's come under like that, the concave root. If it is concave root, you see, the difference of the radiograph image, how it looks like, so there is a middle one, is a thick board, thick line of, Thick black, it's showing. The black uh, shade is showing. You see here. So it is called the concave root. The concave root, it so it shows like look like that. Excessive root penetration. Penetration is there. You see, penetration is there, but it is excessive. It's more than the requirement. So how it looks like? If you see the head is the white accent line is coming. Is the form of the uh, is the it's not of the whole oil. Maybe in the excessive root penetration, some of the oil, some of the areas are there. That's why you see from the beginning of the some area, it's good. There is no excessive root penetration are there. And after that, starting from here to here, you see here the root penetration is excessive. That's why it looks like that. So I think it's, you are understanding that excessive root penetration, if it is there, how it looks like in the radiograph image. Misalignment. Same here is the misalignment is there. If the misalignment also is coming, same thing are there. You see here. You see here also misalignment is there. But in the in the root area misalignment, misalignment it means thickness is thickness is less or more. When you are done the root joint that time, if the two plate thickness is not correct. So misalignment, if it is misalignment, you see the both plate are misalignment means the root and the above on the face, these two area, this uh, misalignment is there and if the misalignment is there, you see the before previous image and the, this image is the same image is coming. You see here, one is density because of the density, 
and uh, because of the density there is a difference of the image uh, this one burn through you see burn through how it looks like burn through it's uh, because the current and ampere current is more high that's why it's melted the root and it's called the melted the root area and uh, it is not the correctly melted. It's melted more current temperature if it is the hole is coming, then Bantu will be occurred. And the Bantu, if it is there, then radiography image, you will see how it looks like. You see for this point and this point is called Bantu image. Root undercut. You see, root is there. Root, we have done the welding, but in the root, in the excessive Amperage and excessive current is there, that's why there is the undercut is there, there is the undercut. And if you see the undercut is the how it's low sign in the root undercut in the radiograph image, you see the one black line is coming from the root line. It's not in the you see that it is not on the uh, face or it is not on the two, two, it is not two undercut, it is the root undercut. So it's it's always will come in the root line. You see in the root line there is a black line is coming from the beginning to end it is called the root undercut how it looks like that cap undercut i just i tell before this uh, root undercut the cap undercut is the two you see there is a two is the black border line is coming yes this this line is called cap undercut how it looks like in the radio in the image in the actual uh, when you are doing welding you see here it's a root undercut is there the parent metal have melted This is a transverse crack. Transverse crack you see here. Transverse curve is the it's the uh, longitudinal direction, not longitudinal direction. It's a transverse direction. There is a transverse curve. You see the transverse curve how it looks like. This is a transverse curve. Root crack. You see root crack. Root crack is the uh, when you are doing the root holding that time its crack has occurred. So you can see the root crack how it looks like here. Here root crack. Here, this is the transverse. This is the transverse curve. Is the root crack. Center line crack. You see here the one center line crack is there at the time. Center line crack uh, of the two building of the, the middle line of the holding. So you see how it looks like. Is the one of the one one black line is coming from the. It's not all over the area. It's coming on the maybe some areas is coming. So it looks like that center line crack. Star crack, star crack. You see, all as we discussed in the previous one video in the star crack, the star crack acceptance criteria. So it see how it looks like. It's a star crack. It looks like like that. You see here, it's it comes under two. It comes under the root face. Sorry, it comes under the weld face. Interface lag inclusion. Hey, you see interface. Interface. When you doing, when you are doing the adjacent welding, when the first welding is finished, and the second welding, you are you are just you are want want to start, or you have just already finished. So in that in that between, there is the flag is there, and you are not remove the correct. You are not remove the welding in correct sequence in the correct properly uh, properly. You are not remove. So. How this in slag is in, 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 in already in, uh, inside it. So how it looks like? You see the black color is coming here. Black, black, and this one. This all this interplus slag inclusion. The elongated slag lines. Elongated slag lines means in the root area there is a continuous slag is there, and after root you have finished, and you it is not clear properly, and the second run you have done. So. Uh, you have uh, to you have to repair that joint, and you see how it looks like. This is look like in the continuous flag, elongated flag inclusion. The continuous flag inclusion is there in the root. Flag inclusion. It's not in the root. It's in the middle of the any of the joint adjacent holding. How it looks like? It will look like flag inclusion. You see the black line, black thread is coming like that. Lack of sidewall fusion with slag. Sidewall fusion, there is no fusion is there. Light lack of sidewall fusion with slag. Fusion or not there, also flag is there. So how it looks like? One is fusion is not there. You see, one is fusion is not there. Fusion is not there. It's side and you see here the slag is there. 
lack of side wall fusion is lack. Lack of interposed fusion. Interposed fusion means one 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 holding is finished, one run is finished, and the next run in that between next run there is no fusion in there. So how it looks like? You see lack of interposed fusion here. Black, 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 black means this one is fusion not done. Lack of sidewall fusion. This is the sidewall fusion. See, lack of sidewall fusion means sidewalls in the V area when you are doing the V joint at that area, the sidewall it is not fusion fused. So it looks like the lack of sidewall fusion is a continue area from here to in some area is you some area not fused. So lack of sidewall fusion. This is cluster porosity. See cluster porosity how this looks like and it's very easy to recognize See here. Root path elongated porosity. Here is the root path and there is a pore is there and the pore is continuous from the from beginning of the end. So how it looks like if the root path aligned porosity. Porosity open to the surface. Then porosity, you see the porosity open to the surface means it is the surface of the weld. So how it is look like porosity open to the surface, you see, black color here, 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 all the porosity are there. Single gas core, if it is single gas core, you see, one porosity is there inside of the weld. So how it looks like the black color is coming, you see here, you see here, single gas core. Tungsten inclusion, tungsten inclusion, you see tungsten. Tungsten inclusion, it's total different. You see, it's a T welding. It's imagine it's coming the bright white color, bright white, bright whiteness. You see, this is all of the tungsten inclusion. Incomplete field group. There is a group is there and welded the welder, but incomplete. So how it looks like? You see, here is a black. Here, the two side is black is there. Poor root profile. Root profile is poor. You see here, from here to it is going there. Not like this. It's not the, from the V. If you go like this, it should be like this way. It should be like this. The root poor, or poor root profile. So how it looks like? See here, in this area. Excess cap penetration. If the cap penetration is excess, cap. It is called cap. This one cap is excess. So how it looks like? One side. You see. One side is the uh, high brightness is the uh, white, this is the uh, excess, again is the same, again is the okay, then again excess cap penetration is a continuous excess cap penetration. And I cannot cap penetration, sorry, this is cap reinforcement, excess cap reinforcement. Grinding mark, you see the grinding mark is there in the parent metal and the old metal also, you see how it looks like, one side it is like this, it's not like the good quality of the world, good quality of something is happening in the welding. Spatter, you see spatter, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one holding and operating uh, metal, so both of spatter is like this, like that. So this is the, in, if you go CC 3.1 in the holding inspector in GWI course, this is, these are the basic, this is the main and basic claim uh, interpretation, this type of defect and how it looks like, how to interpret it, it's uh, totally covered. So I think uh, everybody has um, understand this every defect and how it looks like in the radiograph image. So I need your feedback, valuable feedback if you want to uh, add anything. Okay. And thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get regular video. And it is subscribe my channel at below link. You can see here below link and you can, uh, you can see my channel and you can click on the subscribe button. Thanks a lot again. Thanks for watching my video.